Welcome to this month's installation of Hector's Highlights where I talk about the media that I consumed in the last couple of weeks. So let's get right into it with literature and print media. I managed to finish Thus Spoke Zarathustra, a book for everybody and no one. It took some time. This was really a hard read, but it was worth it. And I get why it's a well-known book and it's very meta, um, of course. Uh, that's something you expect out of philosophy, I guess, or some people might. At some point I just gave up finding sense in this or bigger reasoning and I was rewarded. Because that's kind of the beauty of this book. Furthermore, I finished To Kill a Mockingbird, which was a nicer and easier read. And I enjoyed how indirect the communication wa was and the ending was very nice. It kind of showed this, implied this manus manum lavat principle in society, so one hand washes the other, you do something for me, so I do something for you, and how people wear their heart on their sleeves not by saying things, but by doing things, like different understandings of justice. With these two books finished, I will go into the next month very ambitiously, I started reading Ready Player One. I don't like this edition because it's kind of the um, the edition they released for the movie by Spielberg and like they fucked up the Photoshop job here. He has like a spider leg. I don't really like just the mock-up, but it doesn't really matter. The content is the same as the original book. Uh, for anybody who doesn't know, it's about a future, kind of dystopian, but a heaven for nerds and geeks because the internet just got better because we have the Oasis, which is a simulation, basically what what they try to do with the metaverse, uh, but a lot more like geeky and with video games. So I'm reading this right now, then I'll read this magazine that I have for like three years now and that I never read, uh, which is about Michel Foucault. Uh, I read Sartre. I already read Sartre. Um, Disgust, I believe it's called Disgust in English. Wait, let me look it up. Nauseous, no, nausea, nausea, oh. nausea. So I read Sartre, and basically one of his colleagues is Michel Foucault and I wanted to read his uh, madness and society. I don't think that's like the right uh, word for it, but I wanted to read that, but to get into him. I'm reading this magazine. Apart from that, my mother sent me for Easter, she sent me a magazine about pop art. I'm not really into pop art, but I believe that I'll maybe appreciate it more. And I got like this nice poster up there. But these are pretty specific and I wanted to get some general knowledge into my head. So I got this, which is about the 100 most famous art pieces there are. And then... Um, I'm going to be big brain when it comes to art, at least I hope so. Let's continue with series and movies. I'm still watching Hunter x Hunter. I still don't like it. I'm like at EP 150 now. It has a 180, 160, one EPs. And I'm never gonna watch it again. I don't get the appeal. I don't like the characters. I'll maybe watch the movies. Yeah, I can't wait to be done with that. It really helped me questioning why I was actually watching it and why I consume media and certain things. I continued my Ghibli marathon. I watched House Moving Castle. It was not as good as I remembered it. But I believe it's just because my tastes changed over the years and it's still an endearing world and like you can see the topic of war coming up and with the last Ghibli movie, so the boy and the heron being about war as well and then the other movie where it's about the boy who constructs the planes for the world war, I see a reoccurring theme. Um, which is nice because like World War, at least World War II is like such a part of Japan's DNA in society and to see it in something as a Ghibli movie is really interesting how art kind of tries or how art is used to cope with that trauma I guess. 
When it comes to music this month, I didn't listen to as much music as I would have liked. But when I listen to music, I listen to the new school of R&B. My favorite song right now is Florida Baby by Isaiah Falls. I listen to that song literally on repeat. And I rediscovered a favorite of mine, and I believe it's an all-time favorite of mine, the album Hot Garbage by Milo Korbensky. It's not new school R&B but we're talking about music in general and I really endear this album and I really like Milo Korbensky as a character, as an artist. And regarding other things that happened in my life, so miscellaneous, I have a very important exam coming up next week and I hope then I'll be able to have some peace of mind to continue my videos. Thanks for tuning in, stay tuned for next month and see you on the next one.